In addition to talent and skill, adaptability is a key trait in a successful athlete. As he's proven multiple times in his basketball journey, redshirt junior Jalen Hudson possesses all three. Well, I grew up in uh, Richmond, Virginia. I was actually born in Akron, Ohio. After my sophomore year, I went to uh, back to Akron, Ohio to live with my dad to finish my last two years of uh, high school. And then I um, was able to uh, get in contact with Drew Joyce, who's LeBron James' old coach. And uh, they, they said that they had an opportunity for me to come there. I was I, I lived less than like two miles from the school. So it was just kind of like, it just, just worked out perfectly. Before the 6'6 guard honed in on basketball, Hudson tried his hand at football and track as a kid and smartly pulled attributes from both to help fuel his growth on the court. Track probably give you a little bit of endurance, uh, a little bit of quickness, a little stamina. Uh, football gives you that physical, that physical, like, you know what I mean, mindset and stuff like that. I, I really just didn't take those as serious, I, and I wasn't as competitive in those as I, as I wanted to be. So I figured, like, stick with basketball. On top of the intangible skills he gained from competing in multiple sports, he also drew confidence from his biggest cheerleader along the way. The most influential person on my basketball career is probably my mom. She just wanted me to be the best that I could be, you know what I mean? And just leave it all out there, just like, just keep working for it. If you want to be good, like, just keep working for it. Like, it was not, never anything negative. After the games, I didn't remember, like, I never wanted to have her say anything, like, leave it, leave any more out there, anything like that. So I just wanted to empty the bucket, you know what I mean, every game. And this, it kind of became a habit like that, like, knowing that she was going to say something like that. So, like, I kind of just wanted to, like, leave it out there every game so she would have something more positive to say. Her encouragement helped him land a scholarship at Virginia Tech, where he played his first two seasons before deciding to start fresh somewhere else. That quest led him on a visit to Florida, where he was able to connect with Dorian Finney-Smith, another former Hokie who found success after becoming a Gator. When I came out here on my visit, he was here. He was about to graduate. He was very open, you know what I mean? He was like, this is the best decision he's made ever. Obviously, he's in the NBA now. He's living out his dreams. Um, he shared a bunch of things with me, a bunch of, you know what I mean, wisdom um, coming from there, being here. But he was just saying, like, the atmosphere is way different, the level of basketball, and just, like, the, the expectations here are way higher, and it just pushes you to be better, you know what I mean? And uh, he was basically saying it was an easy transformation. Like, people were very, very accepting here. If you put in the word, you can do well here. That's basically what he was telling me, and I like to hear that. Jalen chose to follow in the footsteps of Dodo and came to Gainesville, where his knack for putting the ball in the bucket was immediately apparent. You know, that's that's one thing that everybody always says you can't teach. And, you know, with Jalen, all of his life he's been known as a scorer. So uh, you know, that's the main thing we saw saw when we started recruiting Jalen is just his ability to just go get a basket any kind of way. You don't necessarily need to draw up a play for him. He could just he could just go go get one. Man, he's probably the most gifted player I've been around offensively. Like, he makes it look so easy. People don't realize. Uh, he makes really good defenders look like bad defenders just by how easy he goes by them. It's, it's really amazing. It's like, man, he's watching him like, hit back-to-back -back shots, mid-range, get to the cup. And he do it just like with ease. Like, he's a real smooth player. You know, it's just casual, it's just easy. While it may look effortless for Hudson on the court, it wasn't easy for him to sit out all of last season after completing his transfer. It was a little bit hard at first, but once I kind of got peace with it, like I was able to put in a lot of work, I was able to transform my body, I was able to shoot, do extra dribbling, like even game days I was getting a lift and workout in before the, before the games, behind the scenes. After that, I really took advantage of it, how to use this, make this time useful. Part of that was learning from his teammates, and Hudson was able to mine specific traits from three key Gators. I took a lot from Justin Leon, Casey Hill, you know what I mean, Chris Chioza. Um, some of the things I took from Justin Leon is like, every like you, you should just be fortunate to be here. Every day is a work day. Like you gotta you gotta you gotta show up with your hard hat every day. Um, Casey Hill, I took like a little bit of, of competition. Like he's a he's a very big like competitor. Like you know what I mean, hated to lose. He didn't care about anything else besides winning. I wanted to add that part to my game as well. Chris Chioza, just like the poise he has and the crunch of situations, like he's so like just relaxed and just ready for the moment. I was just trying to add a little bit from everyone. Jalen has also learned how to conduct himself on and off the court by observing a fellow alumnus of St. Vincent St. Mary's High School, who also happens to be one of the greatest athletes in the world. Well, coming from uh, LeBron James High School, I mean, I feel like I had to say I, I admire LeBron James, not only because he's a, he's a great talent, like you never hear anything about him getting in trouble or doing the wrong things. He's, uh, he's, he's about to build a school in Akron, like that's, that's amazing. But I just feel like he's, like he's a person to admire and he's, he's really done a lot of great things, so that's, that's really someone to look up to. While he may not have the stature of King James, Jalen Hudson clearly has the right mindset and attitude to inspire others as he continues flourishing at Florida. For Inside Gator Basketball, I'm Adam Schick.